the first homicide to be recorded in San Pedro since the beginning of the year, comes exactly one week after the shooting victim foretold his demise in an interview with News 5. 26-year-old Alfredo Kowal and his girlfriend were seated in a golf cart in front of Jaguars on Monday night when an unknown assailant approached them. Surveillance footage obtained from the area reportedly shows the gunman taking a good look at his quarry before opening fire on him at close range. Kowal was mortally injured, his girlfriend barely escaping with her life. Bien, yo estaba con él sentada en el golf cart de él, estábamos viendo un video en su Facebook. Cuando de la nada un impacto, un impacto de bala, él agarró su cabeza, volteó a ver para atrás y lo volvieron a dar otro tiro, que es el que le entró aquí a él. Después él, él se metió bajo su golf cart, él no quería que le hicieran daño más. Y yo me subí encima de él y yo gritaba que no le hicieran nada y el hombre salió corriendo. Y adelante habían dos hombres más esperándolo a él. No los pude identificar. In the immediate aftermath of the shooting, shortly after midnight, patrons from neighboring establishments poured out into Barrier Reef Drive to witness what had taken place. Inside the golf cart, the resident of San Pedrito lay wounded with a gunshot to the right side of the chest. Acting upon information, police um, proceeded to the San Pedro Polyclinic where they saw a male person suffering from apparent gunshot wounds to the chest. Um, police then learned the person name to be Juan Alfredo Mencia Co, a 26-year-old fisherman of San Pedrito area, San Pedro town. Um, initial reports into the matter stated that he was socializing near Central Park by an establishment where a male person came and apparently um, fired several shots in his direction, which apparently caught him in the, in the chest area. He was then transported to the by ear to KHMH where he succumbed to his injuries. Kowo, our viewers would recall, was the subject of an interview conducted last Tuesday when it was reported that a case against a pair of police officers had been dismissed after the prosecutor failed to appear in the San Pedro Magistrate's court. Here's what he told us in that question and answer session via telephone. Okay, people tell me that when I come like back from a ship, if they win the case, this man may come, come, see me a visit, they may shoot me, and kill me. And that's the thing you see, I have to watch over my shoulders, oh, because I don't take no trip, you know, like later or nothing. So... You believe that your life is now being will now be threatened, uh, given the yes. fact that you had uh, basically made a report against these officers. Yeah, because a lot of people tell me, you know, because they believe about the talk, man. This is what they want to do. I mean, they want their job. Kowo was one of five persons injured in April 2017 when police constables Norman Koyi and Daniel Madril began firing indiscriminately into a throng of club goers outside of the very same establishment where he was executed in the wee early hours of today. Él te había comentado de algún um, incidente previo que hubiera tenido con, con alguien, alguna discusión. Sí, él tenía un problema. Por la primera vez que a él lo tirotearon. ¿Cuándo? No sé cuándo fue eso. Pero él... El año pasado. Uh -huh. Y ese era su único problema que él tenía, que él iba al juzgado, no al juzgado, no al a juicio. Estaba yendo a la corte. A la corte, ajá. En relación y le, a esa. Y le votaron el caso y él fue a retomar el caso. Vino aquí a Belice a retomar el caso otra vez. Oh, wow. ¿Y eso fue acerca de qué o relacionado con qué? No sé. Solo eso fue lo único que él me contó y que yo sé. Pues yo estaba con él. Kowo's girlfriend of five months was unaware of the matter he was seeking to reopen against the officers. His family believes that his death may have been the result of that intention. Superintendent Henry Jamoth is in charge of the San Pedro Police subformation. He says that there are no indications that Koye and Madril are involved in the incident. However, the investigation into Kowa's murder is still very nascent. I have no information to, to um, suggest that at this time. Like I said, the investigation is very it's in its infant stage and, and 
a lot more work needs to be done, groundwork needs to be done before we can start causing aspersion and assumption. Um, I would ask that the, the, the general public assist the police in this case because we know that people saw and we need these people to come forward and give evidence so that we can solve this murder and, and have some San Pedro return to some sort of normalcy within that area. Sadly, Kowal leaves behind his girlfriend, several children, as well as an unborn. ¿Cómo lo, lo vas a recordar? ¿Qué tipo de persona era él para ustedes? Para mí una persona muy buena, yo lo amo a él y estoy embarazada de él. ¿Su primer hijo? No, él ya tiene otra niña. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.